Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Almost forgot this war, but it's the first war of a new season, season 33, as you can see, and we're going up against an alliance called the Syndicate. All right, so let's go ahead, and instead of spectating, we're gonna just continue because this way I can see who they have banned. And we're gonna preview. All right. So I take path three still in sections one and two. First one is that Silver Centurion. Um, I would love to bring in a Corvus for that, but that's all right. And we also have Spider Ham, who I do not like. I don't like fighting him. Um I think uh I will use Nick Fury against him just because whatever shenanigans he pulls, I at least have a second life, a uh, second chance at life. And then this Doom here, um, Nick Fury could do that fight as well. Um, we've got Emma Frost down here. Don't think I'll be messing with the middle this time. Um, Human Torch, I can take with Nick Fury if necessary, depending on the shape Nick Fury is in. Then, of course, we've got Colossus, that's Black Widow all day. Uh, we've got Warlock here, and Warlock is actually a good, uh, counter to Warlock. And that fight kind of scares me. I don't like fighting, uh, Super Skrull. Um, if I have to, if no one else takes him, um, Warlock will be who I use against him. And let's see, is there anybody here I can mess with? Uh, yeah, I usually focus on the left-hand side. I do not like that right-hand side. Uh, Mole Man, that could be very annoying. Oh, yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that'll be a nasty fight. But it's doable if you play around the node. Um, Black Widow could probably do that fight. Um, I wouldn't use Nick Fury because uh, Mole Man will just shrug those off. Uh, Warlock, maybe. Nimrod up there. Uh, I don't know, Warlock and Black Widow might be able to do that fight. Not uh, Nick Fury. And that Dragon Man, I will avoid. Uh, but Warlock could do it if nobody else takes it. And as far as the boss, I don't have uh, Spider-Man 2099. So I probably won't be messing with that um, Penny boss there. So looks like the team that I have right here. Uh, Warlock, Black Widow, and Nick Fury will be the team I use. Yeah. And this fight here... Let's see. Gains an armor up buff. Yeah, I might just use uh, Black Widow on this fight here. Because she can strip those armor, uh, armor ups off of them. So, yeah, we might do that. All right, let's get on with the fighting. All right, so that's the team that I'm going in with. You'll notice that I do not have Spider-Man 2099 with me, which means I wasn't really planning on fighting the boss, but I ended up fighting the boss anyway. More on that later. All right, so first fight, we've got Iron, I'm uh, sorry, uh, Silver Centurion. Almost said Iron Patriot. He kind of looks a little bit like Iron Patriot. Uh, I'm buffing up here because I have these buffs. And if I don't use them, they're going to expire. Only reason, um, just have a bunch of them. I don't really anticipate any problems uh, in this fight at all. This uh, first fight of the season... This is the fight where, you know, we knock the dust off of us and uh, try to get back into the swing of things. All right, so 
using a Black Widow Clairvoyant. Like I said uh, earlier, I believe that she will work uh, quite well for this node. I'm going to start using her more often on that node uh, to strip the armor so that I don't have to deal with the uh, shock as much. I still have to deal with it, you know, depending on RNG, but it's usually not that much, and Claire can at least heal up a little bit and uh, get some of the health back that she loses from that. So she's a, a good option uh, for that node, depending on who they put there. Usually they don't put anybody there. Alright, so now we've got Spider-Ham. I do not like Spider-Ham. I don't like fighting him. He does weird things when you fight him. Uh, and that's why I came in here uh, with Nick Fury. Because if he does something weird, I've got a whole second life. And I won't have to, you know, die instantly and be staring at the screen wondering what just happened. You know? Uh, so... You can see here, I'm just letting that bleed go ahead. Just keep bleed down, baited it out. And I'm playing very safe and cautiously because I don't want him to evade, go unblockable, and attack me all at the same time. That happens a lot when I'm fighting him. You know, I'm just looking, he's not unblockable, okay. And I go for an attack, suddenly evade. And he's unblockable. And he's attacking me before I can react, before I can do anything. And I'm just like, what the? And I'm just getting beat down. But this time, we did good. All right. Now, Dr. Doom. Most of the time, people do not like fighting Dr. Doom. He's been out for a little while now. He's still very annoying. He used to be placed as the boss a lot. Um, especially with the defense tactics that were going on at that time. And he was very, very annoying. Uh, but he's not as bad these days. I don't know if we just got used to him or we have more counters. But again, I come in here with Nick Fury for a reason. And I believe you'll see that reason. Oh, look at that. That would have been lights out for somebody else. Just right there. That would have been it. Fight would have been over at this point. And I, I'm looking at that. I'm just like, oh my goodness. Look at this. I'm just like, am I going to die? All right. Whew. Close. That pimp slap would have slapped me unconscious. That is why I like using Nick Fury. For stuff like that, I have a little bit of a cushion or a safety that would have been a death for anybody else but nick fury handled it like a champ all right so we cleared off the uh middle here i usually do not take the middle i'm usually asleep by the time they do all of that here we've got uh colossus now um i can't remember i think they're doing Unstoppable armor, which a lot of alliances are choosing. That needs to be looked at. It's 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 really not a, a, a nice defense tactic. But even with uh, Colossus, and you see me take this fight many, 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 many times. But that unstoppable armor makes the fight just a little bit more dicey. And I hate it. I hate uh, unstoppable armor, but you'll see him go unstoppable. So I have to really be careful. Okay, so I stripped him off of his armors like I usually do. And I uh, can't remember, did he go unstoppable? I think I managed to keep him from going unstoppable in this one. Let's see. Yeah, okay. We were good on this one. We were able to prevent his unstoppable. Uh, in in some future wars, you're going to see him uh, go unstoppable uh, often. And it's really annoying. In this one, he wasn't that bad. All right. Next up, we've got Warlock 
on Warlock. And Warlock is a good option for Warlock. So usually when I see Warlock, I, that's what I want to do. I want to bring in my Warlock to fight him. And as you can see, we're going in. No problems here. Infections are up, but, you know, who cares? We're doing good. Health is looking great. Time is looking great. Okay, we got the special two. Just rinsing it. Yep, we knew he was going to want that special too, but it didn't help him. And he goes down pretty quick and easy. He is an annoying defender, but not really that bad if you have Warlock. But there's other other um, options against him. He, he wasn't really that bad of a defender. All right, now... As you can see here, I waited a little bit and um, I decided to come over and help with uh, this Dragon Man. And I was very nervous about this Dragon Man, especially because he likes to power gain all the way up to a special three. So I put in uh, an invulnerability bus, uh, boost. <laughs> I don't know why I can't speak this morning. Uh, and a vulnerability boost in case he did that. So really, all I had to do was fight like normal, evade, try to, you know, bait out his specials. And if I don't, that's fine. Had the uh, boost to, you know, fall back on. But you can see here, he's firing his specials. Uh, and we're doing okay so far. Okay. Warlock does have the power control. And then I got hit there. I was not happy about that. I was not happy about that. So, boom, there goes my invulnerability. So, I'm like, okay, well, now I don't have the uh, safety net. But Warlock uh, does have a power control. Okay, what I said power control and uh, that's why you see me holding the special three in case I need it because he has a very strong power drain on his uh, special three and uh, here my goal is to go ahead and get that power drain on and then go ham so you'll see it here look at his power see his power draining and I'm hitting him, but it's still draining. That. And then I got hit again. I, I don't know what was going on there. Um, one of the things that I have noticed uh, in war uh, is the timings of, of some things seem to be slightly different than uh, elsewhere. And that sometimes messes me up. All right, but there you go. He's got his power again. And whoop. I, I almost pushed him to a special three. Okay. Decided to go for that special two. And we finished it. Very, very close fight. Uh, closer than I would have liked. All right. Now, I mentioned the boss. We're about to have our boss fight. It's going to be... Uh, Black Widow Clairvoyant against Penny Parker. And I'll talk to you after the fight.
So close. That was the first time that I had to fight a Penny Parker boss. And I got so close. I wasn't really that confident with uh, the champions that I had to fight her with. <clears throat> I didn't have my Spider-Man 2099, who I thought would have been a much, much better uh, counter for her. But I fought. I'm a soldier. And I almost got her. Uh, one of the officers uh, finished her off uh, and we ended this war. All right, so uh, we'll take a brief intermission and we'll be back and you'll find out how we did in this war. And we're back and unfortunately we lost this war. First war of the season is a loss, but let's see if we can recover. All right, so that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.